Okay, today I am going to show how to make a TB303 patch from the init patch. Then I'm going to show how to program a couple of popular 303 baselines using the internal sequencer of the base station 2. Okay, so to start out with, I've got the init patch. Again, this is just going to be one oscillator. So I'll turn the sub os down. I'll turn oscillator 2 down. Make sure my switch is on oscillator 1. And I will go down to the lowest oscillator setting. Flip it over to the acid filter. I will close all the envelopes down. I'll gradually raise the decay until I have something approximating the sound that I want. Turn the resonance all the way up. Now this uh, mod envelope depth is key, and that sets the depth of this envelope that you're setting here. And we want that to have a lot of depth to it to give it that wow sound that the TB has. Turn the distortion up a little bit if you want distortion, a distorted TB sound. As a final step in programming the TB sound, you want to turn the glide time to about 30. All right, now we're ready to start programming. All right, the first thing we're going to program is Fatboy Slim, Everybody Needs a 303. So let's listen to a little bit of that. All right, here is a view of the 16 steps that we're going to program. All right, now we're going to program the sequence. You want to make sure the rhythm is on 32 steps. And this says number one, so that's sequence number one. And so if we put this dial on record, we see it comes up here, record sequence dash one on the screen. So now we need to enter the steps. And it starts with the low C. So we put that in, and it says one on the display. You'll notice from looking at the sequence um, in the MIDI clip that two of the 16 spaces are taken up by that C. So you need to tie that to another C, and you do that by hitting this legato button. And you see a dash in the display. It's saying one tied to, and then you hit that C again. So it ties that those two C's together, and when you're in sequence record, then all of these white highlighted labels are active. And so the third step in our sequence is A. Fourth step is C, again, low C. Then F, then C, then C, three back to C2, A sharp, 3, back to C2, D sharp, 3, back to C2, G2, A sharp, 3, C3, and then high C. So then we flip this over to play and make sure that we have the sequence turned on by this button here. And let's listen to the sequence. And you can turn that tempo up. This mod envelope depth and LFO2 depth are hooked to this frequency knob right here. So this LFO will make this knob, it's like standing there doing this to the knob going up and down on the knob. So give it some F LFO depth, maybe of about 20. And then make sure this LFO speed of your LFO2 over here is set to 
saw wave and make sure that it's moving very slowly so it'll kind of sweep the filter as the sequence plays. A little more depth, maybe a depth of about 50. <laughs> Okay, now I've added uh, overdrive and a simple delay to that. Okay, so here in this MIDI clip, you can see what the Prodigy baseline looks is going to look like. The first nine spaces are all one note, and then we're going to put the other notes in. So you come over here, you flip your sequencer to record, and the first nine spaces will all be tied together using legato, and they're all A. So let's start by hitting the A's. Legato. So that's nine. Then we go to the E above that. Then the A. And then two A sharps uh, tied together with legato. Then the G below that. Then two A's tied together with legato. And then flip it over to play. Make sure it's turned on. And the rhythm is at 32. Let's see what we got. <laughs> 